So, Fall Guys has been out for about a minute now, and it's been really fucking popular. Really popular. It's just everywhere. It just popped off, and you know what? It deserves it because it's a lot of fun. But the time that it's come out, and since having played it and reviewed it and all that, something I truly do wonder about that I don't think anyone else is talking about, but honestly should be talking about, because th these are the facts that I think people are just afraid to bring up because of the truth that they'll expose about Fall Guys. But it starts with the question, can Fall Guys die? Can a Fall Guy, a guy who falls, can they die? Can this Fall Guy die? Can our Fall Guys that we play as die? And I 100% believe it's true. But see, the disgusting truth isn't that our Fall Guys die, no. The disgusting truth here is how they come to be where they are, and how this connects to what happens after we die. Basically, I believe that Fall Guys the game is purgatory for where we go when we die, and how it works is 60 people are put into one match, server, whatever you want to call it, whatever, whatever mock-up name they come up with. And those 60 players are thrusted into a Wipeout-esque Battle Royale experience where through four or five rounds, depending on how many players, players are eliminated, you know, those keywords, quotation marks as always, those 60 players are all forced to win a crown, which only one can win. And those 59 players who lose, excuse me, the universe is finding a way to silence the truth as you're hearing it come from my from my mouth with the words I'm I'm currently spitting um basically those 59 players who don't get the crown they're forced to continue suffering in what is known as the void which is where the fall guys go until they are finally able to achieve the crown and thus be set free into the true afterlife but until then they're trapped and every time that you turn off the game without having won a crown, that's more time the Fall Guy has to spend in, in eternal damnation. And you know what the worst part is about not having played the game without winning a crown? The Fall Guys can't move. Yeah, that's right. You think that this is just a game where you're controlling a character? Oh no, you're controlling someone's life. You're toying with someone's freedom. You are toying with someone's existence or what they have left of it. Their soul is being tormented because of your lack of persistence in getting the crown when you should be working on it. You should be getting those W's, but instead, you're taking L's. The Fall Guy is taking L's. Can't move, do nothing. And then when the Fall Guy can do something, all it is is movements controlled by you, I, us, the players. The clothes that they wear, it's what we choose for them. They can't choose their own clothes. What, you think that fall bean fucking looking thing chose to be a furry? No, I don't think so. I think this is torment on, a, on such a high level that, that the people who've neglected their Animal Crossing islands, they can't comprehend this. Those villagers that you abandoned, yeah, fuck all those people. They deserve to die. They deserve to be abandoned. They are all communist piece of shits that support Tom Nuke, the ultimate communist um, cult leader. So fuck all of them. The fall guy that you leave to torment and who is trapped within the void, they are the truly neglected creatures that deserve to be saved, that deserve that freedom. That villagers never will. Again, fuck all of them. They can all go fucking burn in a fire. I don't care. Um, so yeah. Next time you play Fall Guys and you laugh at how your Fall Guy bean things, whatever the fuck they are, uh, toes with dots for eyes, the next time you laugh at all the Fall Guys on, in the game, constantly squashing each other and falling on each other and falling down off the map, just remember that you are continuing the suffering that they are cursed to deal with every single second of their lives or what little lives they have you want to know why they're called fall guys because they're guys who fall into eternal damnation and you know those screams yeah that's right i said it screams what you think those woohoos and those oohs are meant to be innocent sad and cute no 
Those are screams muffled by jelly suits. Covers. Body masks for extra protection against coronavirus. So yeah, next time you believe the shit theory that these things are Teletubbies before they become horrifying, just know they are us. Humans. Humanity. As a species, as a race, forced into torment until we are free. So I just want all of you to keep that in mind next time you pick up the game and play it. Because you're basically torturing someone. And you, and you just laugh and mock their pain. So, basically, you're evil. And um, 2020 proves once again why it is the absolute worst year in human history. Sit down, Black Plague. You don't compare to Fall Guys. Or, in this case, guys who fall into the void. Only to never escape it unless they're good enough to achieve a crown. So, not me, basically. And probably most of you watching this video, let's be real. Most of us are shit at this game. Especially those of you watching it. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's the video. Keep that in mind for when you play it, you sick bastard you. And that's it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more content coming soon. Turn on all notifications so you get all videos in the future. And that's it. See you next time. I'm out. Later.